Hi, everybody. We're going to make a polymer clay gingerbread man in a stocking. And here's what you'll need. And we will get started. First, we're going to shape the stocking, which is a tapered red log. And I, I did the ends of the stocking a little bit different. I kind of twirled it up. And just follow what I'm doing. Of course, you can make the stocking any way you want. You don't have to do it the way I do it. Then we're going to put the body on, just like we always do a body. And then the top of the stocking, we're going to put right on where the seam is between the stocking and the body. Now, the reason it says follow what I'm doing and make the arms and head is because I originally had music to this and nobody likes the music, so I am doing the voiceover. So today it's a pretty cool day outside and I am I have tinnitus in my ears. <laughs> what is there that I don't have wrong in my head? I don't know. But anyway, I have tinnitus and it is I don't know if it's the atmospheric pressure because it's pretty cool outside, but my ears are just buzzing. Okay, we're going to cut out a star. And of course, this is where you put the year and you put the name on the white part if you personalize. And I think I made this one a few years ago. Here we're giving him a bow tie. If you want to give him a scarf, that's fine too. But we have to do one or the other because it helps to hold the head onto the body. And we're going to texture the bow tie or the bow. It can be a bow or a bow tie. So Saturday night, we had the time change. And, or was it today? I don't remember. Well, on Sunday. And we fell back an hour. And I feel like this day today is like going on forever. Of course, waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning doesn't help. My body thought it was five, and I'm used to waking up at six. So maybe tonight I'll have a good night's sleep. Do some decorating on him. 
very easy to do. A little icing on his head. I'm at my house in the country. It's a little chilly today. And I refuse to turn the heat on already. Not necessary. Throw on an extra comforter. I think I don't really need to tell you what to do. You can pretty much watch it and see what I'm doing. That's his red nose. Now, we're not going to do blush on the gingerbread man. We're going to give him nice red clay cheeks. Just make little balls and press them on flat. Give him a nice mouth. You can also paint on the mouth, but I like doing it this way. And also, uh, one thing I want to say is when you uh, make the mouth with the needle tool the way I'm doing here instead of painting it on, when he comes out of the oven, that's one less thing you have to do. Now with the eyes, you can leave them like that, that's fine. Or you can paint them on after, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yawning. I guess because I just told you that I've been up since four in the morning and it's now almost six o'clock. You can also paint the eyes on after baking. Now, I did not uh, put the black of the eyes on with black clay. I did paint that on. When I was doing the shows, I did the stockings. I put teddy bears in stockings. I put, oh gosh, anything I put in stockings. Teddy bears. See, and now, now I'm totally blank when I'm trying to think of what I put in the stockings. But I'm sure one of these days you will see a video about it. We did the little heart. Put the little heart on his chest. And, of course, he's done. Uh-oh, put the hook in. Put the hook in. Now, this also, if you make it smaller, is a very cute pin. This is one I did a few years back, and see, I painted the mouth and the eyes on that one. Oh, no. Put the hook in. Remember to put the hook in. It looks like I didn't. There we go. <laughs> I used to get so mad at myself when I did not put the hook in. Close up that gap. There we go. And now he needs to be baked and just put those black dots on his eyes. And that is it. Bye.